everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cool Terrania bracelet and this was designed by Bracelets by H on Instagram. I'll bring up her profile here in just a second. Um, first I wanted to give you a quick look at this design. So it is a pretty cool design and you can mix up a bunch of colors if you like. Um, this is just the color combination I'm going to be using today or at least the color setup. Um, this is her account is Bracelets by H and then you can scroll through her account, like her posts, and give her a follow for me. Like I said, I will have her name in the description box below so you can make sure to check her out. And we'll, we'll go ahead and get started. So for this bracelet today, you're going to want to have a hook. I'm going to use my double-ended hook here. You're also going to want a C-clip and four colors of bands, maybe three. Um, if you want to do the border color, one color. Um, but I'm going to be using four just so I can show you guys all the different um, band arrangements today. And we'll go ahead and get started. So, first thing you're going to do is take the gray band that's here, the gray band. I'm going to be using um, one of the blues from the Sweets Blue Paradise. We're going to start by making an eight loop setup. So, it should be pretty simple. Once your four loops on one side, switch it around and reclaim the cap band. There we go. All right, once you have eight loops, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and take this first band here. And here I used neon blue. Today I'll be using white. You'll pull this through the first six loops and you'll reclaim all of those, so put it all back on your hook and then take these outer two over to the outside and be careful with this white loop because it will come off if you pull on it so you might just want to push this down or hold on to it or something um, but next what we're going to do is take the green band that I used in this bracelet, I'm going to use a different type of sweets blue pull this through the first four loops, being very careful that this white band does not come um, out of the bracelet or that it stays in the right order. I'm going to lift the second band, which should be your white band, and the fourth band, which is just that outer blue. Turn this around, and we'll repeat the process. Pull this blue band through the first four. Pick up the second, again making sure your bands stay in order, and the fourth. So now you should have a total of 10 loops on your hook. You'll have four in the middle and then three on each side. Then you'll take your second color, which I used Electric Glow Blue for in this bracelet. I'm going to use a Sweets Pink today. You're going to pull this through the first eight loops. Before you close, you're going to pick up the first two. Skip these middle two here and pick up the outer four. And rearrange these outer two bands so that they're on the outside. And so it looks symmetrical to what it is um, on this side here. So the only bands you're dropping off onto this pink band are those two middle blues. Then what you're going to do is we're going to set this up to repeat the process. So you'll take the first blue color that you used and you'll pull this through the first five loops. So that'll be through the first half of your bands. You'll pick up the third band, which is your pink band it should be sticking up and you'll pick up the fifth band, which is just that outer um, blue. Oops. Keeping it on this side, pull a second band of the same color. So in this bracelet I had two grays and one green. You pull this through the first three loops and just lift the outer one. So you should have four loops on this side. Now slide it down and we'll add on our other bands on the other side. So again, taking that same color, you'll pull this through the first five loops. Make sure to pick up this pink here and make sure that it doesn't um, come undone. You also pick up the fifth loop. Then take your next band through the first three and lift the outer one. So now you should be back to eight loops. I'm going to move this off to the side. And I'll show you how to do this process two more times. You'll take your white band now through the first six, then lift everything back up onto your hook and rearrange those outer two. 
Now take your secondary blue color, which looks the you can't really see it on this camera, but um, it's the lighter blue, I guess. You pull that through the first four. You'll lift the second and the fourth loop. Slide it down. Turn it around. Pull a band through the first four. Lift. Sorry, the second and the fourth. I had to make sure that my band was um, not coming undone. Next, you'll take your pink band through the first eight, and then you'll pick up the first two loops, skipping the middle two and picking up the outer four, and then rearrange these two so that they're on the outside just like this, and you'll take two of these first blue bands for each side. So you'll take this through the first five loops, lift the second and the fourth, er, sorry, the third and the fifth. Then take this through the first three, lift the outer one, slide it down, take this band through the first five, lifting the third and the fifth, and then a band through the first three, lifting the outer one. I'll show you one last time how to do this, and then I'll let you go ahead and finish this off, and I'll show you how to close it. You'll take your white band through the first six loops, and lift everything back up onto your hook. Now take your blue bands, your secondary blue bands, first one, through the through the first four bands, lift the second and fourth, turn it around, take your blue band through the first four, and if your bands come undone like this, I just kind of move it back over with my hook, pick up the second and the fourth, now taking this band through the first eight, lifting the first two, and the last four, and rearrange these outer two. Then take your blue color through the first five, lift the third and the fifth loop, and a band through the first three, lift the outer one, slide this down, turn it around, and you can also just flip this around if you have a one-ended hook and pull this through the first five, lift the third and the fifth, and a band through the first three, lift that outer one. So this is what your bracelet should look like um, all the way until you've made it long enough to fit around your wrist. So once you're at that point, go ahead and stop here, and then just pull one band through everything on your hook, and you can attach your C-clip there. Um, so that's pretty much what the bracelet looks like, and that's going to do it for this video, so thank you for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have bracelet, bracelets by H's name in the description box below. Make sure to give her uh, a follow on Instagram and check her out. And that is going to do it for this video, so I hope to see you guys next time.